Hey guys, how's it going? This is Brandon here, and uh, I wanted to make this little video here uh, doing the first series of Ghostbusters videos. Now, I'm going to do a little editing in here, maybe do some closing up stuff, but with that being said, let's get into it. Alright, here we go. So, um, of course, this is. <laughs> I'm not playing anything right now. I just wanted to uh, do a little commentary, I guess, over this right now. Um, oh, let's, let's watch this cutscene first. Ghostbusters. <laughs> no, not even you. Not even you. <laughs> Uh, the, oh my god! Hey man, you get these links? Yeah. By the new Gozer exhibit? Yeah. I did a bunch of electrical uh, stuff, Baba. Oh, the stuff. What's that? I hear something. I'm gonna take a look. So, anyways, it's good to have, you know, an old classic Ghostbusters game that was remade. What? <laughs> Ten years. It was remade, I think, two years ago. And it was uh, May 2009, I believe. Supposed to be. This is this is regarded as the definitive uh, sequel to Ghostbusters 2, the third one. And uh, yeah. So um, now I wanted to make a sort of clip to where it's like each entry had that intro, the intro before. So I just used this. Just like a few seconds of it, and I apologize for that if it looks cheesy or bad, you know. But anyways, I'm trying to make more quality videos, and uh, oh, <laughs> I hope you guys like the video series. Sorry about that. I hope you guys like the series. Um, but yeah, um, I like this little nod and loving memory. Of, well, not nod, but I like just tribute that they did. In the beginning. Um, yeah, this is a very cool game. If you want to see me do more of this, please give a like. Uh, I would like to make a goal. If I see at least one like in this video, I will continue the series. In each video, I'll probably add two likes. You know what I mean? Just, just to see who wants more, more of this series. So, um, yeah. Hey, it's the new cadet. Uh, I like how it's a new character. You get to play as a new character. I was going to be okay with playing all four Ghostbusters, but I think it's cool that you get to make your own character to kind of throw yourself into the Ghostbusters world. But yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I would have loved it if we were able to change the character's appearance to like our own. Maybe when Dan Aykroyd's like, Hey, what's your name, kid? And it'll like do a Skyrim thing where it cuts the character. You can make your own character, change the hair color. Because basically, this is just a step in for the character, like a bland generic character. And we should be able to customize them as we see fit. But I get it, you know. Making a generic jump in character is kind of, you know, safer, I guess. But it would have been cool to add the character creation to make my own character and name them because um i i know it's gonna sound very uh lazy but i probably would have made him peter bankman's son or something you know name him johnny bankman or something um but yeah be kind of cool him and diane's i think her name is diane diane's son after Oliver, but what I like about this is my character would be born a year after this because it's 91 and I was born in 92 so uh, I guess it's okay to make it a new recruit not like my character <laughs> anyways um, I just little thing right here where it's like you can actually hear uh, Vigor Talking and stuff, <laughs> and a river of blood will be oh, well, something like that will run through the streets. Yes, I need a child. Yes, master. You know, 
freaking a child <laughs> you what you're doing it's horrible I want you to know this <laughs> that's awful I want you to know this yeah uh, I love Ghostbusters too I I got both of them on DVD although I just saw them on you uh, Walmart I got this for five dollars each and I think I can't remember it was like twenty dollars or something if I would have or fifteen dollars if I would have spent uh, waited and spent a little more money I would have got them both on blu-ray but you know it's 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 whatever uh, I messed up here I thought I fucked up the uh, the ghost containment thing on, per on accident but you're supposed to do that to get the trainer ghost out I guess so you can learn how to capture ghosts and shit. So what we gotta do is pretty much capture just here ghosts and shit. Um, I'm probably gonna step away from commentary for a bit, let you guys watch the video, and uh, jump back in at a certain point. All right. Slime might be looking like Curly Howard. Woo 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 woo. You can be your best friend out there in the field. Everything you need to know is displayed on the pack itself. Here's where you keep an eye on your current physical condition. The more green that's on the bar, the more damage you can sustain and still stay on your feet. This bar indicates your pack's heat level. When it gets to the top, you'll want to bend the pack and keep it from shorting out and resetting. For the most part, capturing a ghost is pretty straightforward. We break it into three basic steps. Sap them, tap them, and trap them. The first step is blasting a ghost to sap its energy. You're a wicked shot, newbie! See that overlay on the ghost? It indicates the current accumulation of a ghost in the game. The more you disperse, the weaker it becomes. So one thing I like to point out about this game is just how fluent the combat system kind of is. Uh, it's light years beyond the 2016 top-down uh, Smash TV. I can't think of what it was. It's like the top-down shoot 'em up kind of thing. I hated that. Never played the 2016 game because if it's anything like the movie, it's probably going to be garbage. But anyways, uh, you'll see just how frustrating this can kind of get. But it's still light years better. You get that little meter that you gotta slow it. You, you gotta stop shooting sometimes when it gets too purple, and then it'll like like that right there. And uh, yeah, this is a really fun game. I love the combat system, and I can't wait to keep playing. Slimer. There it is! Ugh! And I thought Slimer was disgusting. <laughs> I don't think I have to mention just how amazing that is to be able to actually capture it like that, like in the actual movie. It is fucking amazing. I love that. Just, just amazing. 
perfect way to capture ghosts. Kind of reminds me of Luigi's Mansion 3. Kind of makes me wonder if they kind of took inspiration from that. But anyways, yeah, let's get back to the, the game. Prototype hardware that could potentially blow us into New Jersey. Thanks. Keep the title, kid. It'll work hard for you. Scooter. We need to go. Let's roll. Where to, Ray? The Sedgwick Hotel. That's the first place that little spud will go. Right. Back to its initial manifestation point. They've got a real good buffet. It is a great one. When Winston returns from the opera, extend an invitation to join us at our table at the Sedgwick. Hey, you. You're up, buddy. Training will be on the job tonight. Try not to destroy too many Manhattan landmarks. That's our job. So you'll probably notice that the commentary will be pretty sparse throughout this video and that's mainly because I want you guys to enjoy as much of this playthrough as possible without me constantly talking or whatever. So uh, yeah, this is probably going to be just one or two times throughout the series that I'll chime in with something, maybe in long parts after editing. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. You should have taken the extended service agreement. I'm getting some interesting PKE spikes here. Disturbances don't seem to be exclusive to the 12th floor. I'd like the chance to look around the building a little more. Good. Dig up what you can. That little greenie shouldn't cause us too much trouble. Well, hello. You're perfectly safe now, Miss. The Ghostbusters are here. Back off, loser. Never gonna happen. <laughs> that approach rarely works with me. I'll show you why later. All right, Ace. Get ready. Dr. Stance? If you do the honors. Proud to, Dr. Venkman. Part of our settlement with the city. Proton packs must remain off in heavily populated public areas. And in close quarters. It minimizes the city's liabilities and satisfies the restraining order the maid here had put on us. Where we live in today, you shoot a proton stream of highly charged particles at someone, they get all so happy. It's him! Nice. Now we got another plaintiff. What the? That looked painful. Are you okay? <laughs> that way. Watch it. Contact. That's what your proton stream is for. You got him on the run! Come on, let's go! Peter! Nah, I've seen this one already. Know how it ends. You two have fun, though. I'll cover the elevators and escort any ladies safely to their rooms. Yeah, okay. And this signal looks just like your elusive little targeted entity. Your meter will flash and buzz when it detects a potential signal. The para goggles are linked directly to your active PKE meter. This lets you see otherwise undetectable phenomena while you track it. Ghost trails, object auras, all kinds of cool events. Now, when the center bar peaks, you're headed in the right direction. When it's flat, you're following a cold trail. Line the target up with the smallest circle for the best scan. Okay, you got it. Now just take a scan. Way to go! Red signifies a hidden ghost. Green indicates an environmental paranormal anomaly. Blue means an active sample.
Getting warmer. You're red hot. Careful. Getting a good scan is sort of like taking a good snapshot. When you've got an entity in range, hold the scan. Careful. Definitely been here. Yeah. An active sample is something you can collect, like a cursed artifact. We get paid extra for everything we scan and collect. Then we roll it back into research and development. The extra funds let us experiment with new equipment and offensive technology, which in turn. You get to wear on your back to test. Remember, you can always review techniques, tutorials, and equipment in your online Ghostbusters field manual. It's all accessible from your PKE meter. Great! I don't feel good! Peter, come in. You okay? Uh-oh, man down. We've got a man down. Go, go, go! Come on, shake a leg! You can move faster than that, can't you? Double time, cadet! Slime! Again! Hustle over here and help him up, will you? How did this even happen? I was covering the elevators! The mutants, Stromboli, snuck up on us. God, funk the fire again. When one of us goes down, we always help each other out. It's all about teamwork. Oh no, my friend. That was back in the pre-sliming era. Right now, it's all about payback. You guys need to get down here immediately. Our live-in science experiment is tearing apart the lobby, and he's not alone. More ghosts? But we gave this hotel a clean bill of health five years ago. New people die every day. Call the elevator, Junior. Slimer, you've had your fun. The elevator's off limits. Egon, come in. I think we're stuck in the elevator. We need some help. Think we're stuck. Well, let's see. Think we're stuck. Think we're stuck. Think we're stuck. Ray, you guys uh, good with officially stuck in the elevators? Show of hands. Here it comes. Kill it, Ray! Need a hand? You always fail me, don't you? I love this humor so much. It, it, it definitely does feel like it's part of the Ghostbusters series. And uh, I know I'm probably going to comment saying I'm bashing the, the 2016 one too much, but that one didn't feel natural. This one actually feels more natural. Uh, some might say it's more akin to the second one where it's you know doing more humor but it's I don't know it feels more organic than the 2016 one and I do give it props for feeling more like a successor to the Ghostbusters uh, and not just a shameless cash in reboot you know what I mean but uh, yeah back to the video Shockwave really stirred the nest. 
Man, this lobby is so wrecked. Can we please call Winston and tell him his night off is officially ended? Four of them! Follow me. The others are floating back upstairs. Beckman, you two pull our friend Slimer into a trap as fast as you can. There's a massive bulge in these spikes indicating this isn't just some routine clearing job. He gets so bossy when he has a man at his lap. Hey now, is that honey glazed ham and prime rib? There, the Alhambra ballroom. No way he could pass that up. Absolutely not! You can't go in. The Rodriguez bar mitzvah is set to start in half an hour. I'll bet the beef brisket is today's special. And you've done quite enough already. I'm sure the thing will just go away. <laughs> I, I'm willing to risk it. You're not going in there. That's all we needed to hear. All right, we're out. Coffee time, everyone. Service has been declined beyond this point. Sounds like the Alhambra's off limits. Oh, oh my lovely hotel. Say. Nobody slimes Pete Beckman twice and gets away with it. Be careful, this is Peter. terrible. Remember the Ellis Island incident? You bring your apron? We're gonna take a little shortcut through the kitchen. The should be right so I got stuck here maybe a few times trying to uh, scan stuff. Um, I edit out the parts where I just stood around editing nothing and uh, I left in some of the stuff. Uh, also poltergeist, holy crap. <laughs> I love that. Just the random just, uh, movable objects that that get uh, moved by ghosts but anyways you're supposed to scan just like slime or something and I got stuck a few times trying to scan stuff that I wasn't supposed to or scan stuff that isn't scannable or already did 
and uh, I didn't realize that I did that until probably later on. Uh, but anyways, if it's already got the black slime stuff on it, I didn't notice if it has text. I already scanned it. So uh, yeah, that explains why I did that. Also, it's been a while since I added a little bit of that good old commentary. So I figured I'd throw in this little segment here explaining that. Uh, the, the kitchen part, eh, it was, it was okay. Uh, a little bo uh, a little tedious, because you're supposed to, like, figure out what you're supposed to do. Uh, I might add captions in later parts. But that's only if I get that, uh, if I reach that one light goal, which, it, that shouldn't be difficult, you know what I mean? One person amongst ten. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Alright, here's the part where I, yeah. Where I start just gaining random stuff, and this is I, I, I skip to the little ghost fight thing, but uh, yeah. All right, check this out. To trap them, you've got to grab them, and to grab them, you use the other half of the proton one, the capture stream. That's all there is to it. You just throw this junk anywhere. <laughs> we don't stick around and clean up. You know, I thought that guy said Rodriguez Parmesa. Huh? <laughs> Would it kill him to mix in a green salad one in a while? I'm gonna take back him. Blast him until he's dazed, and then throw your capture. <laughs> See? That's a big wow. That'll teach that pill goop sack the slime. Be vanguard. And by extension, you. Perhaps a place sitting disturbed? Still pretty much ready. Full go for the Rodriguez blowout. The Alhambra Ballroom. The Bar Mitzvah. What have you done? The guests are arriving in 15 minutes. What seems to be your problem? Thanks to me and my new exclusively assigned recruit here, the festivities can now proceed in an entirely ghost-free environment. So, you're welcome, huh? And, uh, to the Rodriguez? Alachayim, from the Ghostbusters.
Oh, my lovely hotel. Nice of you guys to join us. You grab the little spot? Ray, we need to have a heart to blob talk with this one. We are going to have to Uh-oh. Heads up, your initiation is over. Now give us a hand. We've got a couple of really persistent troublesome spirits here. Now was it? Who is going to pay for all of this? No need to worry, sir. As you know, the mayor rode to office on a strictly pro-Ghostbusters platform. And we now invoice the city directly for all captures and eliminations. And unhaunted New York is a tourist-friendly New York. No, but damage. The mayor and the city have taken out an extensive insurance policy as well, so you're covered. Honestly, I'm sensing some hostility here. Perhaps we should just leave the ghosts here, if that's what you would prefer, sir. No! No. But please, be discreet. Discretion is our professional one. <laughs> Hands up! <laughs> Whoa! Where did he come from? I suppose we should go after him, unless you want to discuss it first. This way. Looks like he's drifting upstairs. there. Move. Take the lead. Take this trap. Specifically, a 7,000 cubic meter bathtub filled with protonically charged seawater and, um, sea cucumbers.
I just want to throw this part out here. Uh, this part, complete and total bullshit. Not gonna lie. I died three times, maybe two times here. Uh, I got stuck a lot. Because you're supposed to track down the ghost and fight off these chandelier looking things. Now, it's it's not the it's not the swamp part or whatever or, or tracking him down that got hard it was just constantly trying to fight off these uh, chandelier looking things I don't know if they're the way you're supposed to beat them easily but they're too close to the ground and the way the proton pack works is it's not the most accurate as the movie has displayed or has you know demonstrated in the movies um, but yeah I got lost got stuck in this part a lot uh, you'll see you'll see in the part you'll see in a minute uh, I died a few times I just edited this whole section out because it took up a huge chunk of time uh, this went from like all in total I had about over an hour and 10 minutes of footage and I condensed it down to about 47 minutes so yeah that's oh yeah it's crazy. All right.
Good work. Are you all right? Nice going. You might really be the right person for this job. Yes, you have destroyed a significant section of a five-star New York hotel in just under three hours. Your mother and I are so proud. Aren't we, Egon? He's got something. Let's track it down. and forks become a big angry giant. That's really me not liking it. A lot. Happens every day, right? Anybody here from Zetamore? Uh, guys, I'm right outside. And so is something else. Gosh, we've missed you, partner. <laughs> Glad you could make it. But first, how was Aida? Well, we had to make do with, uh, this new specimen here. I've been trying to get here for over four hours, Peter. Traffic is a little blocked right now. Wait. I know that thud. Winston, what do you see out there? It's big. It's clean and soft and white. And you all aren't gonna like it. No, this is not possible. Not here, not now. Not again! This time, I swear it. <laughs> Pull it together, Ray. What do we have that can stop that cheap confection? Ray, weren't you gonna finish up the install of the Super Slammer today? The Super Slammer? <laughs> Sounds untested. Tacky and exciting. I mean It would seem the Ghostbusters have encountered an old foe! How will our heroes bust him down to size? Give this video a like and you'll see the continuation of The Ghostbusters Game Remastered! Thank you for watching, and again, if you want to see part 2, the goal is one like. So don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and request. I'll see you guys next time. This is Brandon Voice Guy, signing off.